Welcome to the Fox Learn. SQL is a powerful tool for retrieving and filtering information from a database. Once you become accustomed to the syntax, with its selects and froms and joins, it's somewhat intuitive as well. However, SQL commands don't integrate well with C Sharp, as you saw. You need the bridge of data adapter and data set objects to connect the database query with your application. The language integrated query, LinkQ, is the solution to that problem. LinkQ is a new feature of .NET that C Sharp takes advantage of, which makes it easier to work with data. Another useful feature of LinkQ is that you can address a number of different data sources using similar syntax. C Sharp allows you to create classes that are complex, with many different properties, which sometimes are objects of other classes as well. You've also seen how to create collections of objects that you can manipulate in different ways. Sometimes that complexity works against you, though. Suppose you have a class that represents shipping orders for a warehouse. You could keep a ton of data in such an object, which would make it very versatile, but what if you just wanted to extract a list of the zip codes where your customers live, for demographic purposes? You could write some code to go through the entire collection of objects and pull out just the zip codes. It wouldn't be terribly difficult, but it might be time consuming. Suppose you want to find all the books in the list that were authored by Jesse Liberty. Notice that this class doesn't have a name, it doesn't really need one, because you're using it only in this one spot. Therefore, this feature is called an anonymous type. Based on the select statement, the compiler determines the number and types of the properties for the class, two strings, in this case, and creates the class accordingly. to create expressions that return a method instead of a single return value. The same query we've been using all along could be written like this with lambda expressions. The variable book eval isn't declared anywhere, it can be any valid name. The boolean expression on the right hand side is projected onto the variable, which is passed to the where method to use to evaluate the collection. This method syntax takes some getting used to, and it can be easier to use LinkQS query syntax, but you should know how to use the alternative. You can also order the results of your queries, and join data from two different tables in your query. You have this same ability in your LinkQ queries. If you wanted to return the title, author, and quantity for a particular book or books, you'd need to join the information from the two collections. The title property is the common field here. It's the primary key in the book list collection, and a foreign key in the order list collection. The query you'd use looks like this. Although using SQL-like syntax with your in-memory collections is the more interesting and unusual use of LinkQ, it's natural to use the SQL-like syntax with SQL databases. As we mentioned earlier, when you're using LinkQ and SQL, you can treat the database tables as classes, and the columns as members. It just requires a bit of extra work on your part. You've probably noticed the extra code in square brackets that's unfamiliar to you. These are called attributes, and they're used in a lot of different places in C Sharp to provide extra modifiers to your classes. The IDE changes to show the object relational designer, which is empty at the moment. The second thing is that several files are added to your project, data classes 1.dbml, and two associated files named data classes 1.dbml.layout and data classes 1.designer.cs. The .dbml part, as you may have guessed, indicates that this is a database markup language file, which is really just in XML.
Language Integrated Query, LinkQ, is a new technology that allows you to query data sources from within your code, without needing to rely on specific data translation classes. LinkQ uses the same syntax with traditional databases, but also other data sources such as XML files, and even with collections in your application. LinkQ allows you to issue queries against collections in your code, returning a subset that's easier to work with. A LinkQ data source collection must implement IEnumerable, and the collection the query returns must as well. The range variable is used to define the parameters of the query. It can be any valid c -sharp name, and c -sharp will automatically infer its type based on the returned values. Once you have the enumerable collection of returned results, you can manipulate them as you would any generic collection. You can use anonymous types and the var keyword in your queries to have the compiler infer the types in the query, whether simple or complex. You can use lambda expressions in your queries to define a method for evaluating the stored data, and then project the results onto a variable. The join clause can unite the data from two different collections, but it has a special syntax, requiring the name of the collection to join with, the field you're joining on in each collection, and the fields that should be in the return set. LinkQ to SQL classes allows you to use the LinkQ syntax to query a SQL database. You need to include a reference to the system.data.link namespace to use LinkQ to SQL. LinkQ to SQL allows you to use attributes on classes so that they behave like tables, and on properties so that they behave like columns. LinkQ to SQL also features a data context class that can take a connection string in the constructor. The object relational designer adds a visual component to LinkQ to SQL classes. You can drag and drop database tables directly onto the design surface and the object relational designer will supply appropriate backing code for the classes that represent the data. You can use the automatically created classes as though they were ordinary classes in your code, simplifying database access. A query expression uses declarative clauses. These specify the results we want, not how we are to achieve them. To start, we use a query expression on an array of integers. We select elements from an array in descending order. We filter out elements 3. In the loop, we evaluate the expression and print the results. LinkQ has a performance cost. For example, we count all elements in an array greater than or equal to 10 with LinkQ and with a for loop. The LinkQ version is nearly 10 times slower. For hot numeric loops, LinkQ is a poor choice. In query languages, we express what we want, not how it is to happen. 
The query language, not the programmer, is concerned with the exact implementation details. We call this language the query language, because it is very useful for retrieving information from databases by formulating queries, or questions, expressed in the language. LinQ is a powerful feature. Its methods and query expressions often improve the readability of programs. And they sometimes lead to new, delayed, superior algorithms. Thank you for watching this video.